done let's lay the cleats now we have all the pre-cuts ready so something something i'm gonna be cutting by it goes and we're gonna put the silicone as we said and then the cleats and then the frames so just see Now we can take that secure piece out because we have the other side cleat was holding the window on the place so it's not gonna flip it over. So I can take it out, measure the exact dimension for that wood and install the last one and then we're gonna do the trims, the picture frame. And of course, what could be worse than the running out of the silicon? Let me see if I have another one. Okay, thanks God I find something. It's not a professional grade, but whatever it is, it's gonna help me to finish this job. Okay, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about it. is there trims around the windows it's also there and now we can take it a look at the whole shed okay guys today we're gonna be building the doors for our sauna uh, outside it's snowing so it's gonna be really funny on the other hand uh, you might learn something new it's gonna be really easy uh, just a couple two by fours some uh, plywood on the top then we have to do the, the, the trims to give us the impression of the old school doors and uh, let me do some drawing for you so actually this is gonna be our basic frame regular 2x4 uh, and we're gonna put the diagonally board in there to help with the strength of the door they're not going to be the moving side by side after a little while so this is like a structural diagonal support brace i would call it uh, the doors it needs to be in the bevel this is this is the view from the top uh, of the door so this is the hinges and we need to make this side a little bit on the bevel because when you're closing this little corner this corner could be hitting the door jam so I would say just uh, like the five degrees or something like that it's not 50 it's five degrees bevel and we have to calculate it with that and from the inside uh, from the inside of the door we're gonna put the, the cedar beadboard same you see on the ceiling and the wall so we're gonna gonna do the the, the beadboard but this beader beadboard it's gonna be uh, the diagonal for make it the door a little bit more strength strength than uh, if I put it just the horizontally if I put it horizontally uh, it might be those doors a little bit twisted after the while and from the front side exterior we're gonna put a uh, regular plywood we put on the on the shed and fill it up with the insulation 
as always because we want to have everything be nice and insulated so uh, let's start build it okay so now we're gonna make it some pre-cuts uh, prepare it and start putting together okay now we're gonna start assembling we got it at two long sizes here and between it it's gonna go shorter side I don't know if you can see it but uh, I make the cut on the bevel as I mentioned it before so now we're gonna put it together uh, first of all I like to use the wood glue of course and make sure you're gonna pre-drill it with 316 drill in that case uh, the wood is not gonna be cracked when you tied it up with the screws Now put it on the side and just screw it together. I'm gonna put it a little bit of glue right here on this edge. This is the exterior glue, which should be the water glue that's me for our sauna project. It's gonna be a little bit more durable for those extra temperature so hopefully it's gonna hold nobody know open the screws three and a half inch exterior and let's keep screwing same like in a bevel on this side so you cannot put it upside down it would be it would not work actually so make sure the bevel goes on the same side like this one put it together oopsie a little bit short but the table is too small for me we can do it um, let's go here Same procedure on the other side, glue, screws, boom, 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 done. both corners diagonally it's same number otherwise the, the doors is not going to be straight and you're going to be dealing with the problem later on when you install it because if everything is in the square but door is not then uh, you're not going to be able to close it properly so on this side I have it at 81 inches and on the other side, I have 80 inches and quarter. 80 and quarter, 81. So that's mean those doors needs to be a little bit 
push it this corner there because it's, again it's not going to be easy task i have to use some some kind of strength Five eight. I'm sorry. Eighty and five eight, and eighty and a half. So I need a one sixteen less. So I have to push it a little bit more, just a slightly. But now I cannot use this these screws because uh, it will fell in the, the previous hole so I have to drill the new one like that then I'm gonna untie this one set of hands but no option for that now I'm 80 and 11 16 80 and 11 16 the other diagonal it's 80 and 5 8 so this is a one okay I'm gonna cut it off right here and I'm gonna put the rest of the video how to make the door to another part so you make sure you're gonna subscribe hit the notification button and wait for another part which gonna show you how to finish those beautiful doors 